Hello my beautiful Libras, welcome to your Aesthetic Spring Equinox reading. I'm Rena Wells, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this. For my returning subscribers, welcome, hit that notification bell. Let's get started. This is something new that I'm going to pull out on the channel every now and then. So, um, yeah, let's take a look and see what is going on in your divine connection. Think of your person right now, Libra. Uh, the red is masculine, the dark is feminine, or you can go by physical features, uh, lighter hair, lighter eyes, skin tone, all of that, and base it with the red is lighter and the dark is darker. So you can do it either way, whatever suits you. Let's take a look here. Sorry, I dropped a card. What is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node? Make sure you take a look at your North Node, guys. The North Node is very important. Um, it shows you the direction of what you're going, okay? And what your path, it gives you hints of your path and your soul mission. What is going on with Libra? Thank you. Let's take a look here and see what is going on with Libra. With this spread, um, it's usually spelling your person's name, but we don't have that because I would be doing it for a lot of people. So um, we are just doing it with the number seven, which is a magical number. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that is why we're doing it this way. All right. We're going to take a look at the energies and then we are going to uh, clarify them with another technique using sevens, okay? If you guys want to work with me, take a look down below. I do healing sessions, which are coaching sessions. I channel actually your blueprint. I'm able to tell your patterns right away and I'm able to see your gifts and I'm able to see exactly what's going on, you know, with your and spirit guides, the next steps to change up your energy and to heal your blocks and how to move forward. So each session is 90 minutes, guys. They're recorded on a secure server. I don't upload to YouTube. I have my own cloud and um, yeah, if you want, if that interests you, take a look down below. I also have a mystery school that I'm building with a soul tribe membership. We have bi-weekly calls. All that is down below. Okay, so we have here feminine energy is thinking a little bit more than the masculine, but as I'm seeing in the heart space, the masculine's really holding the feminine closer to the center of the reed. So Spirit is saying that they're really working on ending cycles around money and their abundance issues, their lack mentality. They're really looking, they're shifting their mindset, Libra, into what finances and how to focus um, into bringing in more coin. Okay, um, <clears throat> what I'm also getting here is this feminine has been doing a lot of work. So this feminine is passionately feeling the masculine's passion. Okay, let's just put it that way. But she's building her foundation here. There's been a lot of change in her passion and how she's been directing her passion. So there may still be some work to do there, Libra. But Spirit is saying for the majority of you, some of you, there's still some work to just keep focused on how to move your focus away from distractions, from old patterns, from old people, from old ways of doing things. So Spirit is really bringing that forward so that you can start um, getting more precise and focused on what you're doing. This masculine is healing a lot of that as well. More about monetary issues, lack of mental, mal, uh, mentality. Feminine is really passionately building something new within herself to ground. Could be mission work, could be talents, gifts starting something new, trying something new, discovering herself. But that's where the focus is. And this feminine is really feeling passionately sexy towards the masculine. She's feeling a lot of passion. This masculine is very passionate. He's trying to contain it because he knows in this connection, this masculine is awakened to it, is trying to just hone in on his skills as well. So both of you are really working on your skills. You guys have done a lot of purging and purifying. You're really discovering yourself. So right now it's about what to build. This masculine wants to build with the divine feminine. A divine feminine Oh, I'm still looking a little bit at what's happened in the past. So we've got to let that go, Divine Feminine, okay? We have here feeling very passionate. Yeah, you're feeling the love from this masculine, okay? You are definitely feeling it. I feel with this betrayal, whatever, I feel like that's a thing of the past because um, the backstabbing, yeah, it's what created the separation here, you know? So there's still maybe a little bit left. And I think that's where that focus needs to shift. That's why I was feeling some of y'all is like, yeah, this way or, you know, getting distracted still by older patterns. Spirit's like, it's okay. You're going to be tested. Remember, whenever you level up, 
you um, will be tested. Spirit will give you another test. Oops, I'm just trying to get, fix this light. We'll give you another test if um, you're really, really, truly ready to be um, doing this kind of work. Sorry, because I need to like, my light is just really trying to get this light properly. I don't know why it's moved. It just, it, I think this, my window's open, so the light may have shifted, that's why. So yeah, this masculine is really working on this um, abundance here. Oh, feminine, don't doubt yourself. You can build this foundation, okay? You can do this, okay? Don't look at, and it may not be your mask that's betrayed you. I feel there may be other people that have betrayed you, other people that you may have dated or other friends or other family members. They're always looking at you and judging you, Libra. And Spirit is like, so done. I want you to focus on your gifts. I want you to focus on your talents. That's what's going to manifest the more that you change that focus, okay? Yeah. Because masculine is ready to build here with you. Ending a lot of cycles with lack mentality. And feminine is still feeling a little bit of this betrayal here in her life. Um, she's pulling through though. This, this feminine is pulling through, okay? This mas masculine passionately wants to communicate with you and reach out. There's a lot of change in how he looks at passion as well. And as I'm saying that, you know, um, this feminine... Oops, sorry. This feminine... <laughs> Why did I say masculine? This feminine wants to passionately communicate. I was thinking the masculine. I think the masculine wants to do it too because the fours are about foundation, but it's also about um, with this talking, I'm feeling this masculine. They want to actually talk to you about this. So you may get communication is what I'm feeling. But this feminine, you're changing in how you look at passion and, and how to build this foundation as well because you're doing it over here. Look at this. This masculine loves you. So you're doing it. You're doing it. Um, you're progressing, you're, you're getting there. This feminine loves passionately this masculine. He is definitely masculine, very much so into wanting this divine connection with you. It sees how abundant it is. This connection is highly abundant to this masculine. As I was saying here, if you have doubts in doing things on your own divine feminine, it's okay. Spirit is like, don't let that I don't feel it's really affecting you that much, Divine Feminine. I feel a lot of you are very independent, but it's like Spirit is like to move into a new way of being and maybe to discover a little bit more and get out of your comfort zone. It's maybe certain things are distracting you, trying to pull you back into the old vibe, but you're aware of what's happening and that's the important thing. Libra, what's happening here is like this foundation is coming in. You're passionately building it. You're doing it, even if it scares you. You may be looking at online business, doing online business, maybe starting a YouTube channel, maybe doing all this, and it's scaring you, of course. And then you're feeling other people like, what are you doing that? Why are you doing that for? And that's a betrayal thing and that energy that's trying to pull you back. And spirits like, don't focus on that. This masculine will come forward and offer his love once you get more focused in that way, okay? So that is really beautiful. Let's see what similarities you guys have together. Let's see what similarities for Libra. So yeah, this is good. Just keep trusting yourself, Libra, okay? Just, it's not easy. We think when we hit a certain point, we're like, okay, that should bring in union. <laughs> and then you're like, no, it doesn't. And so it's like letting those expectations completely go as well and just keep in your lane is what I'm hearing. Just stay in your lane. Y'all just stay in your lane. You know when you're driving? You have to just stay in your lane. You, you got to focus straight ahead. You can't turn. You can't be distracted too much, right? Just kind of think of your life that way if you're twin flame path, right? Um, Spirit is saying just, just allow it to just stay in your lane, okay? The masculine will meet you at the stop, okay? <laughs> will meet you at the destination, okay? Um, that's really what I'm getting. So it's just like little bits of distraction of the old energy and spirit is like if you notice that something comes up and maybe from a different person but the energy feels similar to something from the past and it reminds you of something from the past that spirit trying to give you and your intuition give you some type of like knowing and saying hey nah 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 i'm testing you because you gotta be in this you can't you know especially in a twin flame connection people are jealous of that shit people don't want that you know so spirit is like no, we have to make sure this is coming together in such purity that it, it it holds in as an anchor in this physical world. That's where you're both going with this, okay? You're both just, um, Spirit is saying integrating right now. You're both integrating. Feminine is really just got to stay focused because we, feminines, we can get into the whole energy and be like, oh, this feels so 
lovely. I feel him. I hear him. Oh my God, we're talking. Ah. It can get very um, addictive, that energy, when you're with your masculine, okay? Myself included, I had to really shut off the telepathy with him. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life, let me tell you. After that, things started to get a lot better. So it's just in the energies, right? It's just I couldn't deal, could not deal, could not deal. It's too much. So Spirit is saying, really testing you in all kinds of different ways to keep choosing yourself. Even when something, you know... Yeah, yeah. What I'm seeing here is there is a lot of really forward movement that's happening. Okay, yeah, here we got another four. <clears throat> a lot of forward movement that's happening, a lot of abundance that's coming into this connection. Okay, we do have um, both parties being open. We have third party energy, but we're going to clarify that because I feel like it's like I'm open to it, but that's only if God wants it. I don't feel that this is picking anybody else. It may be also, both of you may be also what I'm hearing, closing off old cycles, okay, of karmic energies. And it's just the final stages here, but we're going to clarify in a bit. We have to do this one more time. We do it all in threes and um, yeah, we'll see what other similarities, but we have like this holy trinity of love here that's happening divine masculine is holding the holy trinity of god's love the masculine is sitting with the father energy is really what i'm feeling really feeling this look at this as i'm talking about the masculine love for the divine masculine and so sorry for how he betrayed you he's loving himself through his own betrayal see he's doing his work he knows that that was his ego but he's forgiven himself he knows the feminine has forgiven him okay this masculine is here in his abundance and this feminine is feeling the passion. So you're, you're definitely on the same page here. Okay. Yeah. Spirit is also saying these knights actually that are coming out, they want me to read out like tarot and say that this is actually wanting to give to each other. I don't read, this is not tarot, but that's something that they want me to say that, uh, for other ones, it's about giving, uh, passion and offers to each other. Okay. So this is coming together, Libra. You guys are getting close to your destination. I'm really seeing that. Let's clarify before we pull some air, uh, oracles to see the some possible future vibrations that are coming in with the equinox. Oops, so let's see here. Let's clarify. Let us clarify, Libra. Oh, what time is it on there? Do we have... Oh, yeah. Spirit's like, we don't have time. Okay, so let's... Let's clarify this holy love. This is a spiritual divine connection. The masculine is holding this. He's changing the way that he looks at abundance, how he looks at money and wealth. He's keeping this open door for his divine feminine because he's changing his ways now. Let's see what else comes in. This feminine feels this passion here. Okay, this feminine feels the divine passion. She completely understands what's happening. She wants to bring this together. Yeah. The masculine may be casually dating. Okay. This masculine. No, no. It's it's the. Okay. So it is definitely. Um, what's happened is whatever you guys were building had to fall apart because of the masculine had a. It could be a third party situation, but he loved something more than. Um, his, his karmic ways, right? He loved certain karmic ways more than <coughs> the divine feminine. And he didn't communicate things that he wanted to, to divine feminine. But he's healing this with the Holy Father, with the Holy Father energy and changing those ways now. I, I feel it was more money and monetary stuff that happened. And what's happened here is like he's looking at how that created pain. This feminine is still feeling a little bit of that betrayal and pain of their foundation that they were building temples and structures together. Something. Let's clarify that Jack, please. Just to... Yeah, they know that it was the underworld, okay? So, yeah. So it, that's what it was. It was just the underworld stuff. It was the ego stuff. And this masculine wants to bring this together as well, okay? So it's not... They, they're holding a lot of... The, look at 3333 three, three, three in this one little pile here, okay? So a lot of magical things happening here, okay? Uh, Spirit is really guiding this connection changing um the passion and the foundation everything spirit is changing everything 
So you don't need to worry about that at all. Let's take a look at this. Masculine is loving and wanting to give and nurture the feminine. And the feminine is like, I'm built, I'm going to passionately build this foundation. I'm going to passionately discover and work in my masculine energy to build structure within myself, proper structure. She loves herself and she in the masculine loves her. So the masculine loves her, loves her. She loves him and feels this passion for him. And there's definitely a new foundation that's happening here, right? Yeah, two of cups. I don't know why they bring up tarot for me right now. Their spirits are actually making me read, to, read this like tarot. It's so funny because I don't do that. This is um, about two energies um, um, merging. It's a duality thing, right? So that's how the cards talk. These cards talk about it. So this is like, like it's, it resembles tarot, but not all the time. So this is. Um, masculine wanting this with the divine feminine okay this masculine is wanting you all right it's just uh uh the feminine is changing how she's seeing things now your vision has changed divine feminine i feel you're getting clarity more about your connection i feel that you may be having dreams spirit is saying that you're starting to understand this connection more you're starting to see exactly where why things had to happen the way that they were happening and you're coming close to ending a cycle right now okay yeah as i'm saying that the 10 comes out okay masculine is ending a cycle you're very close to ending old structures that's why you were getting pulled back into old ways of being spirits like no 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 that's it you're gonna pull into old ways that's changing you're changing the way that you see love you both want this abundance you don't want to betray the abundance you're passionately into the abundance and you really want it together so the masculine has a 10 here. You have a nine of letting go of old structures, old ways of being around money and passion and, and how you're going to build and how you're looking at love and what that really means now. And this masculine is ready to end the ways of, you know, how he's looked at it as well and what money was to him and all those ways that masculines love the 3D stuff, right? So that's like wanting, he's ready to end that now. This, um... Let's take a look at these jacks. Is that third party spirit? What is that? No. Spirit is saying this is a, this is like, they want me to read it like the knights, okay? Offerings to each other of divine love. This masculine has a, a lot of sexual energy towards the divine feminine, wants to make love to her. Yeah, yeah. In the past, Spirit is saying there were other parties involved, excuse me. There were other parties involved. Uh, and spirit is saying that this masculine has forgiven himself, has moved through it and has wants to come together with divine feminine and apologize for certain things. And this feminine is forgiven it too. And very close to forgive. I don't feel like you're holding it. There is a little bit of backstabbing here energy. What is that backstabbing energy? But you're coming to an end of ending that passion of holding that energy of backstabbing. So these feminines have healed. You're very close to finishing that off too, right? Um, this is a divine love here, okay? And this masculine feels this divine love completely. And feminine is definitely feeling all this passion. His love is helping the feminine to, to grow. This masculine holding this ace is helping the feminine heal and see exactly why. It's like, you know, when the when it first happens, the betrayal and everything and the separation, you don't know why. But this feminine has gained clarity of why now. And you're like, oh, now I can look back and I can see why these things have happened. We have here, yeah, the foundation, four, four, three, four, sorry, foundation, laying the groundwork here with the holy money from god the abundance from spirit okay that was taken from a karmic situation so karmic situation may have happened that stole the foundation away from the masculine but this masculine has realized that he has the abundance of spirit working to do this for divine feminine so this masculine has healed stuff with karmic has taken his power back from karmic energy from money and is is healing this as well okay yeah so femme, you don't need to worry about that anymore, okay? Divine Masculine loves the feminine, okay? Two kings here. Feminine is love with the masculine, but she's still feeling some of this betrayal. But you're right at the end. Like, you're getting massive clarity. I don't think it's a big thing. <laughs> As I'm saying, it's not a big thing, but some of you might be holding on to it. But Spirit is like, love. No, the abundance is coming. See, this love the masculine is holding is healing whatever the situation was with the eight is healing whatever this was okay whatever this um it could have been a sex addiction 
This masculine is holding and wanting to gift so many things to divine feminine. Look, seven. Okay. This is holy. This masculine is healed enough that it is affecting the feminine. And the feminine is now just getting refocused. One more. Oops, which is on this side. Yep, eight. We have like two eights here, okay? So that's massive abundance. This masculine is holding massive abundance and good energy. He's forgiven himself. And it's changing this feminine. This feminine's ready. Really getting close to being ready. All right? So let us pull some oracles and see what is going on with your oracles. These are near future energies that the spring equinox Ostara is bringing in for you. So let's take a look for both energies. This is for your masculine and for your and for the divine feminine and for you the feminines, whoever's watching. Let's take a look. But I do speak mostly to the divine feminines because they're everyone that's watching my channel. Let's take a look. What is going on here, please, Spirit, with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please? What is going on with Libra? What is going on with Libra? Any energies that want to come out, Spirit? We're going to take those ones. Spirit's giving me that right now. Give this relationship a chance, okay? I'm bending my cards. It's going to be a time to get away with each other. Spirit is prepping. Then we're going to pull one more on the retreat card. <laughs> spirit is, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> They're so funny, God. A spirit is saying they're going to create a space for both of you to pull away together, to disconnect and to have these heart to heart conversations, to be honest with each other, to talk, to get to know each other, to give each other a chance. Okay, to bring this together, to have private time together. Okay, this feminine is getting very close to this. This masculine has done massive forgiving. Okay, so you guys are getting very close. Spirit is bringing this very close this year. I feel like you guys will have some type of trip this time, this sometime this year of COVID. Oh, I know it's COVID, guys, okay? But um, something will open up. There's something for you guys to completely disconnect and just be with each other and just discover each other and just talk and laugh and, and see where these energy and what they are exactly and just to... Uh, yeah, because it, it, it's like just to heal and to see what happened during your separation. I'm really seeing that. Let's see what portal energies, what doors are opening up here for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, please. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, look at this, okay? You're going to be able to share yourself with each other. This is about learning. <laughs> You guys, before, if you see all of this healing, like you couldn't even talk to each other before, right? It was like, this is so intense. What is this? Now it's like you've already lost each other. You went through your biggest fears. You're healing yourselves. You're becoming whole. You're like, what was I so afraid of? <laughs> what is this? I want to share with this person. I want to, this, this connection is going to illuminate the world. It is being revealed now. When you guys are going to be, this is, yeah. I can't even talk, you guys. It's so beautiful. It's like going to come together. The light, you're going to share each other's energy. You're going to give to each other. You're going to disconnect. You're going to have this beautiful time together. You're going to break these barriers of what's been keeping the separation going because you've been healing. And this is going to be manifested. My dreams are coming true. Spirit says your dreams are coming true. Okay, Libra. So don't doubt here. It's really, um, look at this as I turned it over soulmates and fork in the road so <clears throat> this is a real love okay libra so this is you know you're at the fork of the road it's like you're almost right to get on that road it's like there's a monkey hanging on here so there's one little piece of monkey brain you know what's really funny there's like two arrows pointing backwards where the llama's not even looking at the llama is looking at this one arrow i don't know if you guys can see that because it gets dark when i put it up um because my lights are on the around the table but the monkey is on here saying no 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 go this way go this way that's a distraction that's the distraction <laughs> the monkey brain no ego go this way go this way and this llama's like i don't know i think i need to go this way and so that's that last piece to move down that path so spirit can bring this soulmate connection you're each other's penguins you guys watch friends i'm obsessed with friends i know i know it's kind of very outdated show but it brings takes me back to when i was in my teens you know <laughs> but it's like oh it's your penguin you know i'm hearing that i'm hearing that 
<laughs> he's your penguin. What is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, and North Node? What is going on? What energies is Spirit bringing through? Thank you for Libra. Thank you. With the Spring Equinox. Yeah. Oh, we have thinking, all that glitters, truth be told, and breathe. Okay, so just breathe. 29, which is a master number, 11, okay? Be in this place of Zen. You just keep focusing on that. You, you're on the road, okay? You guys are on the road, Libras. You're focused. You're there. Don't let that distraction happen, okay? There's a lot of truth that's coming through. Just as the Spirit is saying, you're getting clarity now. We're able to show you. You've leveled up to the next stage. When you get to another stage, it's like you get another key to open another door. And it's being revealed now that everything that glitters that mask is coming off now right you're getting you're breaking out of the illusions i know this is another thing too a lot of people romanticize this twin flame thing and even when you first come into connection with your twin you're like oh my god this is so beautiful oh and trust me i did that i'm a pisces venus so i'm all like oh la 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 and spirit's like no you gotta ground that you got to cut that illusion out. And that's what's happened with you guys. This illusion has done. You're getting into the mind and really rationalizing things. It's a 4-4. Four, four. We have a 7 here, which is a holy number. Spirit was showing you where the mask was being hidden here with all that glitters. And the truth is coming forward with five, with a 14, which is a 5, which is a truth, is being shown. And this is so you guys can be, and Spirit's going to bring it together for you guys to come together, get away, and spend some time together. All right, Libra, please like and share. I hope you enjoy that. If you watch the end, please hit a like. It doesn't take long. It helps my channel to grow. I'm sending you so much love. If you want to work with me, all the info's down below. And comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. I love responding to your comments. I do my best to respond as best as I can. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye, guys.